smashed it down. I thought that was great. Hey, what's up, you guys? Short Miss Prime here doing another Pacific Rim movie figure review on the NECA Coyote Tango Jaeger figure. This is an awesome looking piece. Gotta give a big thanks to NECA for making these reviews possible. And ToyNewsEye.com. Check them out for the latest in action figure news and a full gallery of images. And if you're trying to pick up this figure yourself, you can get it at Big, 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 big. big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. This is a very cool looking Jaeger. I am excited. I can't wait to open this one. This guy looks so cool. Anyway, on the top over here, it shows how many kaiju he's killed. So he's got two notches on his belt right there. Very nice. I like that they've done that. Coyote Tango. So this is the one that was driven by Stacker Pentecost. Then we have the knife head over here. Cherno Alpha, Trespasser, and then another picture of Coyote Tango right over there at the top. So yeah, like I said, I'm excited to see this thing. Let's crack it open. And here's Coyote Tango out of the packaging. The Jaeger that's responsible for saving the life of Mako Mori. Very, very cool Jaeger. He was barely in the movie. I mean, you really only saw the back of his head and the silhouette of him just totally messed up. But damn it, this thing is cool. I'm really glad that they made this. I think this is a very cool looking Jaeger, man. Big thing I was really curious about is that when he was in the pack, he has these Mordor cannons over here, and I was curious if they could actually function in Oh, bagoon! Yeah, they do! That is sick! Oh, I love that they made that happen, so I just had to go over that really quick before taking a close look at the figure But this is a badass looking piece Check that out. So here's a look at the head sculpt and you can see these windows over here, these blue windows up in the very, very front. He has some vents on the side. I really like the paint applications on this figure. It has this very cool silver paint app throughout the whole thing, but we have some light brown painted over it in a lot of sections too, which looks great. Like you can see right here on the shoulder, you can see some of that brown showing some wear on it. And then looking at the back of the head, pretty much like how I remember seeing it in the movie. In the movie there's like a lot more little red and blue stripes throughout, and we can see that that little door that the Apocalypse Canceler pops out of, standing right on top of the Jaeger. Such a cool character, man. Uh, such a badass movie. I really like the movie a lot. But, you know, whenever I get these new figures, I end up watching the movie again. I don't know if I told you that, but yeah. Anyway, a lot of detail right here on the front, on the chest. Now, I'm confused about this Jaeger. I know it's a Japanese Jaeger. I looked it up online, and it says that it's the second Japanese Jaeger, but it says USAF right here, USAF. Uh, I thought that stood for United States Air Force. And then we have these Air Force signs right over here on the mortar cannons so what the heck's up with that you know that is just kind of confusing to me plus the design it's like it has a whole lot of red white and blue on it just overall I feel like the color scheme of this Jaeger is a little bit more red white and blue than anything but it's a Japanese Jaeger so that's what it is I'd have to say the frame of this figure is very muscular very tapered down over here at the waist big chest over here and then the arms look pretty badass too let me get this. It says US2A over here. So again, it keeps making me think that this is a United States Jaeger. Or maybe it was just built in the USA and it was sent over to Japan to fight the Onibaba. I think that was the name of the kaiju that it fights. We have these huge discs right over here on the sides. Looking pretty cool. And then we have these huge knee spikes right over here. Very cool look though. Look at the paint detail on this. This is just beautiful. I like this a lot, man. And the bottom of the feet have all kinds of detail in there. Look at that. Even the bottom of the feet. Really like it. The back of the figure looks great. So we have some more black, a lot of details right here in the machinery and the mechanics of the Jaeger. These mortar cannons look very cool. Just really stoked about these. These are badass. And of course you can see the tracks that move right up here so you can move these forward and then we can see more exposed parts of the back over here which is more or less the same thing that we saw in the front, you know, just the tracks. And here we are looking at the top of these things which look really cool. I like the added brown paint right here. This Jaeger does not have the very best articulation but not the worst by any means. His head moves side to side all right. You can get it to move left and right a little bit. Not a whole lot of movement over there. You can get him to look up some. It's kind of tricky. It's kind of on a ball peg in there. And you can move Moving down just a little bit too. He does have shoulders that barely move outward. You can rotate them forward. He has a bicep swivel over here. And then this really weird joint that moves outward and in right here at the bicep. I think that's really strange. A little bit more so on the right side over here. Look at that. That's an interesting uh, movement over there, right? Yeah. And then he has an elbow joint that moves backwards and forwards, but just a little bit forward. And then the wrist is on two separate ball joints. One ball joint over here where it connects the wrist and then another ball joint in the hand. So you can get it to shift around and move around. One thing I didn't mention earlier is that he only has three fingers, a thumb and two fingers anyway. That's pretty interesting. He has this waist joint over here that lets him bend forward and he can move back and rotate side to side and has some pivot over here at the waist. The legs let him move 
outward just a little bit, can move forward, but they kind of get this sprung out kind of look going on over here. And there is an upper thigh swivel too, so that's pretty cool. He has a single jointed knee that bends in only that far, not quite 90 degrees. And the ankles move down, move up a little bit. A nice ankle pivot, and that's just about it. it moves side to side too. So from the top of Coyote Tango's head, he stands at seven and a half inches tall, and then to the top of the cannons, he's closer to eight and a half inches tall. So to compare Coyote Tango to another Japanese mech, here he is next to my master grade Gundam figure. And by coincidence, these figures happen to be more or less the same height. And here are all four figures from wave three of the seven inch NECA figure line. And man, these are just great figures. I'm very, very happy with them. Of course, they have some problems. You know, you get some loose joints here and there. You get an arm falling off over there. But for the price point, man, I think they did a great job. Like my best friend Todd said, you know, you got to pick your poison with these things. Overall, great figure line. Boom! Ooh, look at that. Oh, my awesome Jaeger collection. That is so cool. I'm so happy with this. Yes, after time I have fully decided that the Battle Damage Gypsy Danger is my preferred Gypsy Danger figure. This just looks so sick. I'm so happy to have all these figures. They look fantastic. And just like the Guardians of the Galaxy, here they are in a lineup. Looking very, very accurate to the movie. I think the scale on these is perfect. So I totally recommend this figure. I actually kind of see this Jaeger figure as more of my Stacker Pentecost action figure because I love that character from this movie. Just an awesome character. So many cool lines. What, my two favorite are, uh, would you rather die here or in a Jaeger? It makes me want to die in a Jaeger, and I don't want to die or anything, but damn it, just those lines, man. And then, of course, the Canceling Apocalypse one. Just a very, very cool character. I really think that this Jaeger does the character justice. A very cool-looking Jaeger. Overall, I think you should get it if you like the movie. Not a must-get, because he barely shows up in the movie, but damn it, it's just really, really cool, especially with these cannons over here. That's just badass. Anyway, Anyway, please check out toynewseye.com for my photo gallery and also hit the like button if you like the video leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe peace